everyone this is Mary and you're watching another little piece of my art and I want to come to you today and bring you the pages that I colored in the month of January 2024 there is not that many of them um, because I haven't felt well at all so uh, but I wanted to make sure to get the video out because um, both my dad and Tom's bio dad are in the hospital right now like they went in within a day of each other One's in Delaware, one's in Ohio, and we're kind of going crazy here, um, trying to find flights and do all of the arrangements that you have to do. So I'm probably going to make a few videos tonight and keep them on private so that if I have to go away um, right away or whatever, I'll have stuff that I can release later on. So if I sound a little bit more frazzled than even usual, more manic, <laughs> you know why. Okay, and also I'm using my worst tripod that I have, the one that's like, it's like this far from the table. So, try to bear with me guys, I'll try to lift the book up and show it to you. Um, this is Calming Therapy. That's my um, spot cleaner, don't mind that. Calming Therapy, anti-stress coloring book. And um, I like to use that one when I'm not feeling that well and I don't want to do backgrounds and that kind of stuff because... All of the pages are, the backgrounds are done for you. So it's very relaxing. And I marked them and here I am still looking. How does that work? How does that even work? Okay, I did this one. It's one of the, the beautiful lanterns, Moroccan like lanterns. I put, I grabbed the wrong thing. This is meant to be like a sun, like a burst, you know, of light off metal. But I accidentally grabbed the uh, chalk writer instead of the marker. <laughs> so I need to go back and fix that. But um, I just did this one with Crayola Twistable Pencils. And um, I forget what the gold was. No, this right here. It looks like it's gold, but it's not. It's actually like an amber-colored um, pit pen, Faber-Castell pit pen. So I did that one when I was first, like, getting this flu or sickness or whatever. And the thing that my dad has is pneumonia and the flu. And the thing that my father-in-law has is pneumonia. But my brother in Delaware, he's a police detective, so he goes out on a lot of calls and stuff. And he said there's a flu out there that's taking people out so um be very careful guys it's just nothing to play with my dad's in you know rolling towards 80 so you just gotta you just gotta really watch and my brother went over there and um both him and my stepmother were unresponsive like totally unconscious and my stepmother is not that much older than me so yeah anyway so i did this bug guy I kept telling myself the whole time, it's not a roach. It's not a roach. <laughs> it's probably just some kind of beetle. Um, but I just did him, I think, mostly with all markers. There's a little bit of gel pen in there. I don't know if you can see it. Um, but yeah, mostly mostly just some markers. Just very re relaxing. You know, these don't take but uh, maybe a half an hour. You can sit and do them in front of the TV. And then I did this one, which was a whip for a really long time. <laughs> I don't know if you remember me telling you or for new people not knowing, but I did this page when I was passing kidney stones. So forever this area, <laughs> when I look in this book, I'm going to think of kidney stones. But I was like kind of working on both pages back and forth. And I just could not finish this page for the longest and um, so I finally finished it, but I like totally phoned it in. In some spots, I didn't even like down here. I just used like ink pens and just went zoop, 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 because I just didn't want to have to <laughs> to look at that anymore <laughs> and have that memory so traumatizing. <laughs> so yeah, that's it in that one. And then um, oh. Move this over here. I gotta move this big spot cleaner. But my dog wants to chew on the cord because she's a very bad girl. Very bad girl. Um, so I made a video tagging all my whips in my art therapy books. 
So I have been trying to stay true to the to the doing of the whips and um you know it hasn't been all that fun but I am determined to do it. So at last we spoke about this. This side was done, this side wasn't. I had no idea what pencils I used. Um I was able to match this and this cuz I could tell that this that this was um a Crayola twistable pencil um and I think I got the right twistable for the background because the back backgrounds are easy with twistables because they're so light uh sometimes you might want to go over it a second time if you you know want to or care but um I yeah I know I didn't get the right pencils because these are just not this might be right the inside pencil but the for the bubbles I just don't I just don't I have a sneaking suspicion that this was Crayola's, but I just was not going to bust those out and break my arm doing it. I just didn't feel like it. Um, and so, oops, let me move my doctor note thing. And so then I did this one. So this one was also a whip. Sorry for that. I did this one. It was also a whip. Um... And I posted it on my Instagram. I liked it. It had a very peaceful vibe to it. And, um, yeah, that one, that one was just quick and easy to finish. I finished this while watching Fatal Attraction. You remember that movie? I won't be ignored, Dan. <laughs> uh, so I'm doing this, like, peaceful zen picture while Glenn Close is doing the you-know-what to the rabbit. I'm not going to say it because some people might not have seen the movie and it'll freak them out. Well, anyway, <laughs> and then this was a whip, um, and it still is because I just have to finish the insides of these bubbles and then do the, these, these larger ones across there. Uh, but I did most of the fiddly parts of the bubbles, did his face, did his hair, I forgot to do the eyes and the lips, but that won't, that won't be anything. That'll go quick. And then I did absolutely nothing over here because I just... I just, just didn't feel good, and I just could not bring myself to, um, you know, sit there with the pencil doing those tiny, tiny strokes. Just wasn't in the mood. So, maybe next time. We shall see. Um, and then, um, as you might know, I had a haul. I wonder, wait, does this part of my, let me see if this part, will, oh, okay, that'll move. That's a little better, right? Hold on a second. Nico, what are you eating, honey? What do you got? No, you can't have the the steamer. That's why it's on top of the table. Because you think you should eat cords. No. Okay, so I did a little bit of a haul the other day where I went to Ollie's and I got this Wonder Woman um, coloring book. Which I absolutely love. Uh, but I had to... Move my other doctor's note stuff. I had to um <coughs> see what I could use and what I couldn't use in it. <coughs> so uh, I started. I, I decided that I'm going to start doing this in my books. I'm going to use find a page and just start testing. You know all the things, but write them down because many times I've done that in the past. Found a page and tested it and then like wrote it on a note or something or put it in my coloring uh, planner or journals. And then I never can find it when I'm actually getting ready to work on the book. So, yeah, I just, um, you know, tested the different things and then wrote what they were. Um, and it did pretty well. This is those ink brand skin tone pencils that I showed on my community tab. This This whole guy right here. This is done with those, so I enjoy those. Um, it did pretty well, except for the you see all the yellow that came through. That's because I used a Mister Sketch marker, big the big fat ones, you know, the kitty kind is what I use for her skin um, because they they're so juicy that they spread, you know, they it just goes so fast and they don't streak. Um, but the problem is they're so juicy, so they come through. But since it was already, you know, just this page, I didn't mind. 
So you would think then I would know, but no, see, I didn't know because I had not tested every single thing on this front page, not all of the things that I normally use. So then I started working on these pages. I was working on her because I thought this was a gorgeous picture. So I was using um, Crayola Colors of the World here. I wanted to make her dark skin and I thought then I would make her... Um, outfit more of like a turquoise color and it would be a really beautiful combination with her skin and I was just you know you have to do the layer first and then of course do your your pencils over it and I mean I was just going to town with that Crayola marker and it just like out of nowhere went oh no <laughs> and I flipped to this page and it was coming through so I um it was just funny if you could have seen me so like I was working on this page with one marker, and then I'd go like this, look over here, go over there, do something, come back over here. So, yeah, so they're not done. They're not, I mean, this one just needs the road, basically, but most of, most of the stuff is done. But look how cute her face is. Like, the different artists in this book make them, the Wonder Woman's look different, and that one looks kind of like a little, like, 40s or 50s um, starlet or whatever. And then this one here looks like more of a modern day, you know, with the the thick eyebrows. And this is just so cool. So, 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 so cool. I'm going to enjoy myself in this book a lot. I can tell you now. And, but, you know, it's just the thing. It's just like some of these little tiny, tiny things are going to be very difficult to uh, color with a pencil. And if I'm going to have bleed through problems, it's going to be an issue. So I'm going to test my Statler fine liners tonight and see if they bleed. And if they do not, then I will use them on these tiny little things because, you know, yeah, I got to have something. I did try back here. I did try um, right here. This is um, the Colors of the World, the mini, the mini markers, you know, like the fine liner ones. That's what those are. So those work fine, uh, but they're a little streaky. So if you're going to use those, you have to, you're going to have to blend it out. I mean, unless you don't mind, but that's what I'm going to be doing. So there's that. Um, now, uh, some time ago, I bought these gouache paints from five below they're a dupe for the hemi gouache that lots of people have and um they are pretty much universally hated on youtube but at the time i was watching tiktok all the time and there was a girl on there who um made paintings with these every single day and i was like well how bad could they possibly be well i did my review and it's on my channel and they were so, this was literally hands down the messiest paint I have ever put my hands on in my entire life. <laughs> I mean, you might as well have just like thrown it everywhere because that's where it went. It's just was so runny and drippy and weird. And I just didn't know what to do, you know? So I was going to order the, the Hemi gouache right before Christmas it was about $16 or something like that. And then, of course, right at Christmas time, they bumped it up to $28. So I was like, well, I'll just wait because it'll come back down later. But I still had the palette and I was deciding what to do with it. Did I want to pitch it or um, th donate it to the school that I live right behind, like, behind, behind my place? There's a fence and there's a school there. So, you know, did I want to donate or whatever? And also what's weird is every time I open this lid, there's condensation on these white um, topper things. Anywho, who breathe. So um, I thought I would get, try something before I got rid of them. And so what I did was I took all the tops of these off and I stirred them really well with, um, actually it was a straw, stirred them really well with a straw. And I left them out on my countertop for 10 days. And I mean, what's to lose at that point? I, I had no idea really what to do with them. I didn't know. I, I didn't see anybody else suggest that, but I thought I would give it a shot. Um, and so what happened is they dried down really like they shrunk to 
way, way less than, you know, what they were, were at one time. And uh, so today I was like, well, let me test them and see, because now what you, what it, you have to do is like add water to reactivate them. So they're not that runny goopy goop anymore. Um, so come here, honey. Come here. Nico is here. She wants to, she wants to be up here. So today I did that. I re, um, constituted the black to see what I could do with it. And I painted the background on this picture because of the, this is color by numbers. This book is color by numbers, masterpieces. Um, and, and so it's, it's, it's just representations of famous artworks. And so the black on this is supposed to be, or the background is supposed to be black. That's a lot of black to color in with a crayon marker. Um, I mean, even when you use the Sharpie, the big, big fat ones, uh, it's still a lot and they smell so bad. And, um, I go through them. I used to, I, I've done a lot of the backgrounds in Sharpies, like those bigger ones. And of course, you know, you get that, that weird sometimes where it's dark in one spot, and like in another, excuse me, sorry guys. And so, um, yeah, I thought I would give the gouache a try, and I think that it worked really well um, for what it is. Uh, I probably would have benefited having a second coat. Where did that page go? Here we are. I probably would have... No, that's not. Nico, you're making it hard on me. There we go. I probably would have benefited having a second coat, um, but I really don't think it looks bad. And now I have a whole thing of the gouache, so I have 12 colors, and I can go through and do all of the backgrounds, and that will be a lot less expensive than using a bunch of Sharpies, you know what I mean? Or breaking my hand off trying to use pencil. So I'm happy. I'm happy that I figured out a use for it. So if you guys have those that gouache set and you're having trouble with it, just give that a shot. Stir them up real good. Get all that pigment mixed in and then let them dry down and see what happens. You may have luck as well. So I'm going to move that. And I still may do something to, the, to this. You know, I still have to go over it with pencil. So I still may put something else on the background. Um, I don't feel like doing stars. I feel like that's, you know, it's always my go-to, but maybe I'll do a constellation or I don't know. I like to put gold, uh, washi tape around them though. So they look like they're in frames, like at a museum. So that I got that. Listen, you, <laughs> what are you really doing? You have to let me finish this. We're almost done because we didn't hardly do anything this time. So we're almost done. Almost done. Uh, so this is not a finished page. I just wanted to let you guys know. I did get the Posh Coloring Book Peanuts. I was really reluctant to get it for the longest because um, I've had bad luck with Posh books before. But apparently, good to know, not all Posh books are created equal. The Posh book that I do own... Um, in my room there has terrible paper this one however not the best by any means is not that bad it's not that bad in fact it's a little bit thicker so um wait Ugh. this one is a little bit thicker so what i did with this one is i did the same idea uh, same thing i came back here and i just tested all of my stuff so um if you got that way if you guys have this book and you want to know what you can use and what you can't use um maybe take a little screenshot um you cannot use paper mate flares which are my favorites um let's see you know i mean some things actually went through most things were just ghosting but some actually went through like that right there which is the ink r2 blast pens those were super super juicy pens from the dollar tree this one here kind of went through and that is uh 
Oh, that's the Paper Mania Flair. So, but for the most part, it did really well. I was really, really pleasantly surprised. So, the Statler Plus Tri Plus Fine Liners are absolute gems. And I'm going to put you down. You better stop. Are absolute gems in this book. That's what I did the wood socks in. And I mean, I really like worked it in because I wanted to just see if they would come through and they didn't. Um, ink pens, of course, were great. Um, even my paper factory brush markers weren't too bad. You can see that a little bit, but not really bad at all. Uh, this is a glaze pen or a moonlight jelly roll moonlight. I have a glaze pen over here. So yeah, pleasantly, pleasantly surprised to uh, find that out so that, so now I can work in this book without having to figure out how I'm going to get pencils in these tiny these tiny spots because to to be honest uh i don't want to stress myself out more and this this book just looks so fun and cute to color in you know it's just simple um relaxing coloring so there's one i can do for valentine's day so yeah um that's it that's all i have like i said i'm gonna film some more videos on this night in case we have to leave uh shut the VA doesn't want me to to be coming there while I'm still on medication. Um, so I know I'm not leaving for at least, I think I have three more days of medication. But I know I'm not leaving for at least three, three more days. So um, I'll make some videos so that you guys have some videos to watch. I, had, I have like three request videos to do and then some that I just wanted to do. Um, so... Yeah, that's all I got for you guys. I hope you have a wonderful weekend and um, happy February. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.